Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you. This one from Ross about long irons and connecting with them. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, question from Ross. This is the Q&A channel. This is a question sent through my mobile Ask Golf Guru app. It's a different app to the golf app because they've got different channel, different sets of videos on. This is pure Q&A we're doing here. So quick fire questions and I try and answer as many as I can. Question from Ross is, hi Mark. I'm struggling to connect well with my long irons like I do with my shorter ones. So hits the shorter ones better. Is there any advice for me? Thanks. Ross. Uh, Ross, unfortunately there is no advice for you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have picked this question to answer. Um, the only advice I've got for you really, and everyone knows what I'm about to say, is go and get a lesson because I can't answer you, you personally through that question. I can give you some generalisation answers and you might find that some apply for you. First thing, long irons are hard to hit. So if I, it's the choice for me between my hybrid and my four iron, and my clubs are strong, so my four iron is like a three iron really, um, then often I'll use the hybrid instead. Certainly if the lie is slightly iffy, or if I'm a bit nervous, or the ball's below my feet, or whatever. Because I find the hybrid easier to connect with than the longer iron. Just fact, I just do. So what I do is opt out of using the longer iron unless I have to use it. Do you see what I mean? Some players I teach, and you'll see them on telly, are fantastic with long irons. They love hitting longer irons, don't like hybrids. And then you'll see other pros all, always use a hybrid and not use a longer iron as much. So you do have certain preferences in feel and club delivery numbers and launch angles that make some of them easier to hit than others. That leads me on to the next bit. You might be struggling to get the right launch with your longer irons, which makes you make a few different movements to try and get more launch because you need to get the distance. So again, it would be a case of maybe dropping the longer irons out and getting two more rescues to replace them or go and have your lesson saying these and see what you're doing to try and get the launch if that is the option with your longer irons and then work on a few ideas to ignore get your launch in a more productive way rather than maybe changing face paths and face to path kind of numbers or angle of attacks which hitting up or down or whatever um, so the first thing you've got to accept is that longer irons are just harder to hit so if you do a study even with the world's best on hitting within 10 foot from like with a wedge going out through the clubs, the dispersion's always going to get bigger with a longer iron for anyone because they are just harder to hit. Uh, but if you find them absolutely impossible to strike, definitely go and seek a pro and get a lesson or just re get some rescues in there. Don't use any ego in these. Just get replaced with some rescues, two or three of them, and get those long irons out of the bag. There's no point, life's too short. Get on and enjoy your game and shoot some scores. Get, I will always use my rescue if I can. I'm proud of it, I'm happy to do that. Um, thanks for the question. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear how you get on. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.